Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a feature-complete Python development environment using NeoVim. As a full-stack developer and NeoVim enthusiast, I've fine-tuned my NeoVim configuration specifically for Python, and I'm sharing this starter kit with you today. More specifically, I'll cover how to set up syntax highlighting, a Python LSP, auto-completion, snippets, formatting, linting, debugging, and unit testing. But before we get started, I'll be building on top of my previous NeoVim configuration, so if you missed my NeoVim starter kit video, I recommend watching that first. I've also made this new NeoVim starter kit for Python available on my GitHub as well. You can find the link in the show notes. First, let's start with an easy one, syntax highlighting. If you are already using my NeoVim starter kit, then this should already be working. This configuration uses TreeSitter with the auto install option set to true. This means that TreeSitter will automatically install syntax highlights when a new file type, such as Python, is encountered. Next, let's use NeoVim's LSP support to connect to a Python language server. LSP stands for Language Server Protocol, which allows NeoVim to connect to a language server to provide many of the features that modern IDEs have. There are a number of language servers available for Python, and it really comes down to personal preference. The two most commonly used language servers are PyWrite and Python LSP Server, also known as PyLSP. I tried both of these for a while and ultimately settled on PyWrite. In my opinion, it provides a good balance of type checking, error reporting, and method signature support. To integrate PyWrite, all we have to do is open our NVIM LSP plugin spec and update the Mason LSP configuration by adding a PyWrite entry to the Ensure Installed property. This will make sure that when NeoVim starts, PyWrite will be automatically installed. While we're here, we'll also introduce a new plugin called Mason Tool Installer. Similar to Mason, which allows automatic installation of language servers, Mason Tool Installer allows automatic installation of supporting tools, in this case, Black, DebugPy, Flake 8, iSort, MyPy, and PyLint. We'll cover these tools in more detail in a few minutes. We'll also have to install a few Python dependencies. Run the following pip install commands from within NeoVim to ensure that the dependencies get installed into the same Python environment that NeoVim is using. After restarting NeoVim, you should now have basic LSP functionality such as displaying hover information, jumping to a method definition, and auto-completion, which we'll go into more detail next. Auto-completion is one of the most valuable features of modern IDEs. As you type, you can see a menu of helpful completion suggestions. Since we just configured our LSP, you should now see language-specific suggestions in the completion menu, such as modules, classes, methods, functions, and variables. As you cycle through the suggestions by pressing tab, the related documentation will also be displayed. In addition to LSP-based auto-completion, you can also see a different type of suggestion in the completion menu called snippets. Snippets are templates for common coding patterns that will save you from having to write a lot of boilerplate code. After choosing a snippet, you can fill in template parameters and cycle to the next parameter with the tab key. Another common IDE feature is automatic formatting. We'll add a plugin that implements the popular Python formatter called Black. We'll tell Lazy to only load this plugin for Python files, and we'll add an auto command that automatically runs the formatter on save. We'll use a nearly identical configuration for a plugin called iSort to automatically sort our imports on save. Now when we save our file, you can see that our code is always formatted based on the PEP8 standard. Nearly all IDs come with some way to validate syntax and enforce language style guides. This is called linting. For this, we will use a highly configurable plugin called nvimlint. PyWrite already does some validation, but if you want additional linters such as Flake8, MyPy, or PyLint, you can configure them here. We'll also create an auto command to automatically run our linters after saving. There's nothing wrong with occasionally print logging your way through a bug troubleshooting session, but a proper debugger can save you hours of time. To add Python debugging functionality to NeoVim, we'll utilize the debugpy tool that we installed earlier. We also have to configure another plugin called nvimdappython, 
which will integrate DebugPy with NeoVim. The only real configuration you have to do for this plugin is to pass the path to your Python binary to the setup function. This can be your system or virtual environment Python. After restarting NeoVim, you can now add breakpoints to your code by pressing leader BB. Once a breakpoint is set, you can press leader DC for debug continue, which will start a debug session. You should see the DAP UI tools appear. When stopped at a breakpoint, you can press leader DI when the cursor is on a variable to see the debug information for that variable. You can also jump around to different debug panels, just as you would with any other NeoVim windows. The Scopes panel will show the list of current variables in scope. You can expand and collapse variables by pressing Enter. The Stacks panel will show you the current stack. The Watches panel can be edited just like a standard buffer to add expressions to watch. The Breakpoints panel shows all of your current breakpoints. The REPL panel allows you to write temporary code that is executed immediately at the current breakpoint, just as if it existed in the actual code at that line. If this feature doesn't motivate you to stop print debugging your way through life, nothing will. Lastly, the console panel will show you the current program's console output. You can step over with leader DJ, step in with leader DK, step out with leader DO, and continue with leader DC. The starter kit also uses a DAP virtual text plugin, so you can see the values of variables inline as you step. You can also terminate the session with leader DT. You can find these and many other key mappings in the key maps file. Take some time to learn the key mappings or customize them to suit your needs. The last and one of the most important topics I wanted to cover is unit testing. Using the same plugin that we just added, NVIM DAP Python, we also gain the ability to run and debug unit tests. Let's first add a key map for running an entire test class with leader TC, as well as a key map for running a single test method with leader TM. Now, if we put the cursor in our unit test class and press leader TC, it will execute all of the unit tests in the class as well as start the DAP UI. You can see the results of the tests in the console panel. You can also run a single unit test by putting the cursor inside of that test method and pressing leader TM. If one of our tests are failing, we can also put a breakpoint in the test by pressing leader BB and then executing the unit test. Just like in our previous debugging example, the DAP UI will pause at the breakpoint and you can debug just as you would any other code. At this point, you should have a feature-complete Python development environment that stacks up against most IDEs. If you have any comments or suggestions for additional plugins or Python-specific configurations, I'd be happy to review a pull request. For additional NeoVim resources, you can check out my NeoVim playlist on YouTube, here or in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe to see more great NeoVim videos like this in the future.